Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review. I am happy that you can join me today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Click the subscribe button below for future notifications and updates. Click the like button and share this content with other fans. Okay, so you are probably wondering to yourself, I've never heard of Logan the Wolf. That's okay. I never heard of it either. At the time I'm recording this, it's May 23rd. Memorial Day weekend is around the corner here in the United States. So on Tuesday, May 21st, I went on firstshowing.net to find the list of movies that are coming out this weekend so that I can plan my weekend and write my next group of movie reviews. And this is a website I've visited often long before I became a movie critic. On the homepage, the first, uh, firstshowing.net highlighted a short film, which I rarely see on the website. I have allergies, seasonal allergies. So if I feel, if I sound a little stuffy, you know why. But anyway, um, when I clicked on the link, I read more about the film. So let me read to you the short article. I got it. I have it right here. Uh, a badass fan film has debuted online called Logan the Wolf, made by the French stuntman slash filmmaker slash fight choreographer named uh, Godfroy Rick. Rick worked. So uh, he it seems as though he has a German or Polish last name. I think his name I think his name is pronounced Wickwert. Okay, he's mostly he's most recently worked as a fighter choreographer on the Witcher series. Big fan of that series, and also the upcoming Crow remake. Set in a desolate post-apocalyptic world, the 12-minute short film follows Logan as he navigates a hostile environment, facing both old and new enemies. It re-events Wolverine as if he were a fighter in a time with Vikings and fur-clad warriors. But keep in mind, this is set in a desolate, post-apocalyptic world, okay? It's extremely violent and uber brutal, and is pretty much one giant 10-minute action sequence with kick-ass stunt work from Weichwurz's team. Wickwurz, Weichwurz. Not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but I, I'm, I'm just going to stick to Wickwurz, Okay. This fan film stars Maxime Equafier as Logan. There's one other Marvel character who shows up in here too. So I'm a big fan of the X-Men franchise. Um, I don't read comic books. My sister and my uncle are big comic book readers. So um, I usually just watch movies based on the comic books <laughs> but yeah so i'm a big fan of the x-men series um i've watched probably every x-men film ever made um in the franchise as you probably all know hugh jackman plays the wolverine and um me personally my favorite um film based on the X-Men franchise is actually Logan. Um, Logan came out years ago. Um, Hugh Jackman played Wolverine. Uh, Patrick Stewart played um, Professor X in the movie. And it's probably one film that the Academy, in my opinion, totally ignored. And that film, to me, deserved a couple of nominations. I think that Hugh Jackman should have gotten nominated for playing um, Wolverine in that film. 
And I think that Patrick Stewart should have gotten nominated for playing Professor X in that film. It's the, in my opinion, one of the greatest X-Men films um, that's ever been made. Um, and it, if, if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you watch it. It's, it's called Logan. A very simple title. And, um, so when I, when, when I saw, uh, this article on the website, I was like, oh, okay. Um, it's basically a fan film. So, um, Rick Wirt and E. Coiffier, um, are fans of, um, X-Men series and, and, and the Marvel, um, universe. And so am I. So, um... I watched it yesterday. Uh, the running time is exactly 11 minutes, 55 seconds. And I can't believe that I'm about to say this, but um, I'm going to give this film four out of five stars. I highly, highly recommend that you watch this short film. It's right here on YouTube on Godfrey Wickworth's YouTube uh, channel. I'm going to be posting the link down below so that you can watch it for yourself. Uh, this film raises questions about the story. So I think there is enough of a story to make a longer film. So I am not giving it five stars because um, I think that the film is too short. However, um, I do think that they probably made a film that they can afford to make. So that's why I think it's less than 12 minutes long. But I watched this film in a state of shock and awe and disbelief. Um, I was truly mesmerized by this film. I, I don't watch a lot of short films. I don't watch a lot of fan films. Um, so if there are any fan films out there that I should be watching that you know of, uh, let me know in the comment box below. I would love to watch more short films, more fan films. Um, I, you know, I, it, I, I watch anything, um, that is of high value and this is a great, well-made film. I'm talking great cinematography, great fight choreography, great special effects, great sound effects, great sound quality. I mean, the, 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 the movie is absolutely amazing but like 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 it says in the article it is extremely violent but um in my opinion um you must 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 watch this short film it is absolutely fantastic and kudos to the uh to the filmmaker and the team that he has i mean it's absolutely mesmerizing. I, I just cannot uh, speak enough. I cannot give enough compliments about this film. So uh, I'm trying to keep this review as short as possible, as tight as possible. So that's all for today, my friends. I will see you next time with another movie review. Take care and uh, enjoy the Memorial Day weekend.